What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Nev from Nev's Tech Fits on the workbench today. I got two Lenovo M715Q units. These are more on the affordable side, but I'm going to be throwing some benchmarks, some tests at them. And I'm uh, going to be seeing exactly how they go. Over here on the back, we have one, two, three uh display inputs really interesting and one two three four usb network wi-fi and uh power kind of old school power from lenovo so yeah let me get this thing set up and updated and we'll uh see how they go yeah so i wanted to install grand theft auto on this thing to give you an idea how well it runs but that ain't happening my god that's a lot of disk space <laughs> This thing has like 120 gigabytes, so that's not happening. All right, so we got a quad core, uh, AMD Pro A12, 9800. Uh -huh. And then come on over here and we can check it out. We got eight gigabytes of RAM. Eight gigabytes of RAM, and then of course an SSD with 120 gigs. So not bad, not huge, but good for a standard uh, usage. Yeah, so we got the Passmark benchmark here. Definitely seems like a unit you won't want to be gaming on much, but I didn't have to tell you that. So here we have the Passmark uh, reviews. I like using Passmark as a benchmark. Wasn't expecting a lot from this. But, oh, one second. All right, so here's the skivvy of it. Definitely not the fastest thing. If you want this for budget. But not bad, I gotta say. I was expecting a whole lot worse for it. Let me try a game on it now. This is one I like to play a lot. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. All right, loading the game in. Three frames a second. Oh, hit up 17 there for a sec. Getting kind of excited now. Doom Guy versus Imperial Soldiers at five frames a second. Yeah, this isn't exactly the kind of system that you want to go out to uh, have LAN parties with. LAN parties, you remember those? Good times. Yep, anyways, maybe good for Facebook and YouTube, but uh, definitely not good for video gaming. That's it for me, guys. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. Catch you later. Have a good one. My goodness, I just noticed the gaming has made this thing hot to the touch. Very hot, like probably not good for it hot. So let's take a look on the inside of it. All right, let's get the bolt off. And of course, this is unbelievably impossible to do one-handed. There we go, I figured it out. Honestly, it doesn't smell exactly particularly good. Okay, so on the inside here, we got the fan, of course. Wow, very hot, whoa. Unbelievably hot. It's good I turned that thing off when I did. Hard drive. Whoa, that is unbelievably hot. I should not have been doing that. Oh, wow. Seriously, I think I burned myself there. Yeah, I won't be doing that again. Let me put this thing under a fan, but yeah. Definitely, uh, like this system's just been doing regular stuff. Man, that should not be like, whoa, wow, I should not have touched that again runs super hot I'll tell you what Bobby super hot 